Alrighty. Hello, hello, internet. Just making sure all the things are operating. We've got captions. We've got chat. The camera's moving. <laughs> I'm a little rusty, a little rusty. It's been a little bit since we've streamed, pals. But I am here. Welcome to the midweek cozy gaming. I'm in sync? Wow, that's just 10 out of 10 toasty. Welcome in, friend. How are you? Uh, don't forget to get your daily comms in the redemptions for the day. I also think... I don't know if I have the choose my day in Littlewood available. Let me fix that. It's actually off a little. Yeah. I think it's the graphics card. I think that's what I need to update. Graphics card just isn't powerful enough to stream. It's powerful enough to game, but to game and stream a little much and you're probably going to get lag because i'm going into chrome right now into my editing settings doo, doo, doo. so we need to go to our viewer rewards select our channel points go manage them and turn on choose my day in littlewood in case anybody would like to select that that is now available perfect Oh, and you claimed first. We're going to turn that right off. <laughs> All right, closing that out. Did I miss anything? Doubt most people would miss it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Hello, Squid Monarchy. Good to see you too, friend. How's it going? How's it going? Hello. Happy Wednesday. It was so fun to uh, catch your stream yesterday. Your very first little baby stream. Already getting promoted ads from bots how fantastic is that <laughs> gonna give a shout out to our pal squid marky the uh supposed number one never winter nights streamer on twitch live here for your following enjoyment y'all please give a follow to our pal squid marky <laughs> <laughs> yes 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 so yeah i am just glad to be home pax was very overwhelming but fun it was really cool uh isn't that one of the D, &D games <laughs> not anymore just what i was saying i believe it's either D, &D or pathfinder but yeah it's one of those isometric um simulator games kind of like uh kingmaker baldur's gate that kind of uh, vibe to it um but yes it was very fun watching squid monarchy run around with the main hero doing whatever she can to make sure he had no pants on <laughs> yes yeah, so you're right it's in Faerun. uh forgotten realms is one of the cities of the sword coast yep 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 north of Baldur's Gate. That is correct. Toasty over here dropping all the D&D &D lore. Toasty knows all. <laughs> oh, couldn't tell you. I don't know anything about Pathfinder cities. I would say of all the D&D &D settings, probably Faerun, the Forgotten Realms, is the one I have some knowledge of. Because I think most of the the written adventures I've played have been in Faerun. Uh, my fellow had no pants and needed no pants. That's right. Who needs pants? Go without them. I could tell you the time a goddess nearly nuked the abyss. Oops. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. <laughs> uh, some interesting lore drops there, Toasty. <laughs> But yes, tonight we are just kind of getting our cozy vibe in, and we're going to play some more Littlewood, which I'm gonna is. Butt slap the dumb out of you. Hey, Plunge. <laughs> Good to see you. 
Uh, Plunge is also a awesome, fabulous streamer pal of mine. Please feel free to give a shout out to Plunge. Uh, very, very wholesome and cozy into the retro vibes. Plunge is a good pal. Make sure you pop a follow to Plunge if you aren't already. We stay on our Plunge. Uh, you use the lore... Wait, oh no, I missed a thing. Uh, let's say someone decided to pull a small little prank on her champ's corpse and use it to kill some people. Wasn't too happy about that. <laughs> the vengeance. The vengeance must be high tier toasty for this goddess. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, Desna is cool to be honest. You like her? I don't know her. Is she cute? What's her power? What's her vibe? What's she do? What is she about? <laughs> so yeah, Plunge was- or um, Plunge. Sorry, Plunge. Uh, Pax. Pax. This place. It was really awesome. It was overstimulating though. There was so many games going on all at once, all at the same time. There was lights, there was colors, there was sounds, there was people. It was a bit much. It was a bit much. So I was a weirdo and I mostly went to all the professional panels like a, a nerd. <laughs> but it was so cool because there was all this representation about neurodivergence in tabletop gaming, implementing safety tools, uh, how to have good boundaries when you're a freelancer. What can you do in this very competitive field to survive? Um, practices of self-care, mental health, ADHD, autism, LGBT, it was physical disabilities, everything that was represented was really high tier. I was so excited for it. Um, so I'm definitely going to take some more time this week to do some research on how to implement some safety tools. Uh, and then I'm going to probably start recruiting very shortly to do a bit of a slice of life D&D campaign for the stream. Um, I know I've chatted with a couple of friends of mine who'd be interested uh, in joining that campaign. Um, so I'll probably put a, a larger call out later if I don't get a, a bunch of folks who are interested. Um, but I'm definitely excited to try and run a more chill, inclusive um slice of life magic school campaign compared to the typical you know dungeon grind i think that'll be a cool experiment to try out ah what did i miss uh talking about desna her domain is actually on the mortal realm which is why you like her so much and that's what we do the oh you use um the safety tools and stuff that's awesome hey shane come on in shane Y'all, I'm going to do another shout out for my friend Shane here. Shane is a wonderful streamer across the world. <laughs> In the land down under. And is always nice enough to pop in our stream during his lunch. You are a fabulous human, Shane. Y'all, give a follow to Shane if you haven't already. You are just a wholesome, wholesome sweet bean. We, we stand our Shane as well. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I guess we'll switch over to our thing. Oh, it's not there. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta fix it. <laughs> uh, gameplay. That's capture. Little wood, little wood. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. Uh, Toasty says, not safety tools so much, but a heavy focus on being open to everyone accommodating. I'm not an officer anymore, so I don't know anything behind the scenes since they tend to keep that hush-hush. Oh, I gotcha, Toasty. Yeah, I was learning about all sorts of different strategies and tools that people use. I met some other um, mental health folks, whether they were psychotherapists or advocates, and they, they do applied tabletop for peer support and, you know, D, D therapy, which I think is a really fascinating realm. Oh, look at you, Shane. You got fives of seven comms. Grats, Shane. 
you are doing well, friend. Enjoy your lurk. Thank you for being here. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, I was meeting, yeah, I was meeting some other folks who do applied tabletop. There's a bunch of training programs. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet, because I'm in the midst of some pretty intensive training right now. That doesn't wrap up, I think, until March. So I I need to keep my brain empty enough <laughs> to take in that information, apply it. But I definitely would be interested in, in learning a little bit more about um, therapeutically applied tabletop gaming. Uh, she's also a lesbian with the el elven goddess of the sun, which I find ironic since she's the elf god of the moon. Clerics fight with giant ninja stars and stuff. Ooh, that sounds so cute. I like that, Toasty. She sounds fun. Have you taken a look, Toasty, at the new Dragonlance book that just came out from 5th edition? There is a subset of um, clerics that are moon clerics, and all the powers are based on moon powers. And I was reading, you have to, like, choose what phase of the moon um, that you're going to do. And that changes what abilities you have. And it also, I think, changes some of your feats. I, I didn't look at it in detail. But it looks so cool. It looks really fun. Uh, oh, how dumb is the new team? I did not look at Tiamat stat block. Do we want to take a look together? <laughs> okay. Uh, give me a second, because I don't think I have a thing. So we're going to add to... I don't have a browser on my current scenes. So let me add display capture left screen. Okay, I think I've got it on there. Get out of that. Yes. So if I go here. Ah. Oop. Oh, that's my captions. We're going to leave those there. <laughs> Where'd the thing go? There you are. Hope I don't dox myself pulling any of this information up. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. sources. Dragonlance. Creatures, 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 creatures. Is Tima not in the creatures list? She might not have a stat block. Really? Friends and foes? She's not on there. Really? I'm surprised. Scroll down real quick. Hold on. Let me move that over. And I'm going to put it there. That should be able to see better. Yeah, I don't see her on there. There's a bunch of draconian stuff. Um but I don't I don't see Tiamat. I mean obviously Tiamat is in other sources in D, &D Beyond. So here's her stat block from Rise of Tiamat, the one that you don't like. That's the that's the stat block that's currently available. You don't like this one. Um, <laughs> it's a death effect dragon, isn't it? I don't know. Character creation. There's the sorcerer subclass. That looks really cool. Let me show you. 
So Lunar Sorcery, uh, it is a choice um, of subclass. So the idea is that the moon has magical powers. So you get a lunar embodiment. So you learn additional spells when you reach certain levels of that class. And so there's full moon spells, new moon spells, and crescent moon spells. And then I think the future features, um, so like your lunar bonus at sixth level. So the current phase of your lunar embodiment can affect your meta magic future. Uh, and each lunar embodiment phase is associated with certain schools of magic. So your full moon is related to abjuration and divination. The new moon is enchantment and necromancy. Crescent moon, illusion and transmutation. Um, there's the waxing and waning six level feature. So you gain greater control over your phase of your lunar magic. As a bonus action, you can spend a sorcery point to change your current embodiment phase to a different one. So you kind of switch around. At 14th level, you get Lunar Empowerment. So at the full moon, you can use a bonus action to shed light in a 10 foot radius and dim light for an additional 10 to douse the light. In addition, you and creatures of your choice have advantage on intelligence and wisdom checks because they're in the bright light. That's so cute. And then in the new moon, you have advantage on dexterity stealth checks. While you're entirely in darkness, attack rolls have disadvantage because you're so sneaky. <laughs> and then Crescent Moon gives you resistance to both the necrotic and radiant damage. So it's kind of like being in between. It's just a really interesting flavor. Um, go to Death Dragon real quick. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can find Death Dragon. Death Dragons. Ooh, can I get the picture? No, I want to look at the picture. That's a really cool piece of art right there. I like that. That's cute. Uh, death dragons are undead skeletal remains of metallic or chromatic dragons infused with the lingering fires of the cataclysm by foul magic. Rarely death dragons rise. Oh, hello, Amubre. Welcome on in, pal. Let's give a welcome to our new follower. Oh, A-M-U-R-O-B-R-A-Y. There we go. There it goes. Welcome in. Hey, Pharrell. Let's give a shout out to our friend Pharrell. How are you feeling, pal? I know you weren't feeling too great lately. Brawl is a newer streamer as well, working on some RPGs like Chrono Cross. I think you just finished Chrono Cross, right? Correct me if I'm mistaken, but I think I saw you did finish, which is awesome. Such a good game. Such a good game. But yes, we are currently... Uh, Toasty wants to look at the new book from Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Dragon, uh, Shadow of the Dragon Queen? Or is that what it's called? I can't remember what this book is called. Yes, Dragonlance, Shadow of the Dragon Queen. So we're looking at Death Dragons. So let's see. It turns you into zombie. <laughs> so a greater Death Dragon is an armor class of 16. Its challenge rating is 14. That's not too bad, right? Has legendary resistance, multi-attack, can make one bite and two claws. This one gets three hits. My goodness. Its bite is a melee weapon plus 11. <laughs> Claw plus 11. <laughs> and cataclysmic breath. Dragon exhales a wave of ghostly purple flames. Each creature in that area makes a dexterity saving throw of 18. Taking 45 necrotic damage. Any medium or smaller humanoid killed, as well as every corpse within the comb, becomes a zombie under the dragon's control? What? What? Ooh, is this the art you're talking about, Toasty, right here? This is the art? Maybe? That looks really cool. That's beautiful. 
I love it so much. So that's a lesser death, dra death dragon. That's only a challenge rating of 10. Uh, our request 15. So this one also has the cataclysmic breath that turns anyone into, into zombies. <laughs> oh no. But he makes he makes one bite, two claws. He just doesn't hit it, have as high of a hit. Um, uh, Ferelsa is still feeling like death. Didn't stream today. I did finish, so Saturday we'll show something new. Ooh. What are you going to show that's new? I'm so sorry you're not feeling well. That's stinky. Nobody wants to feel sick. Here. Um. Ooh, the draconians. What are draconians? They look like a bunch of friend friendly little pals, all different colors. Draconians are bipedal monsters born from metallic dragons that have been corrupted by a combination of warped alchemy and the Dragon Queen's foul magic. The armies closely guard a secret, the secret of the Draconian's creation, allowing metallic dragons to continue to think their eggs are being held hostage. They don't oppose the Dragon Queen's conquest. She's so naughty. Yeah, it says they're typically lawfully evil. <laughs> uh, shadow is scarier because of strength strain. Turns you into a shadow. Getting over my man cold. I'm thinking it's over soon in Persona 5. Yes, I love Persona 5. That's going to be so cool to watch for Al. The music in that game is so fun. Typically lawful evil. Typically lawful evil. Are, but aren't... I'm confused here. Hold on. Aren't the metallic dragons the good guys? Are these not metallic... Wait a minute. Eggs of gold dragons. Wait. Yeah, they're metallics. I thought the metallics were the good guys. Oh no. <laughs> but I think it said it's because they're corrupted. So they're good dragons. They're metallic dragons that are corrupted by the Dragon Queen's magic. And so she takes the magic eggs or the metallic eggs and then somehow twist their minds into being evil and being her like champions that is twisted as heck <laughs> they don't they don't care about the lore anymore <laughs> well this is dragon lens it is a different setting uh is this what caused the llama drama maybe for al it, it could certainly be what caused the llama drama they want to want you to make your own that is interesting that they're naughty. That's kind of cool. Oh, they're all evil. Wow. So that's, I guess, the big bad. Oh, he's cute. He's like a little fluffy zombie guy. <laughs> it's called an Anthcalox. Ooh. Huge undead. A lot of undead. That's the dragon. The dragon. We looked at those. We've got dragon army troops. Dragon army dragonel. Art. Oh, look at its little scales. It looks like armor. That's so cute. This one's like a robot. Weird. The starian drone. Can I pet him? Sure. I'm sure you can. They might eat you, but you can pet them. This is giving Wrath of the Lich King vibes to me. Or Game of Thrones. It's really cute. I love the purple. Purple's my favorite color. I don't know about all that I know is Pathfinder nowadays. Okay. Yeah, I mostly know 5e. I don't know much about Pathfinder. I uh, don't like forcing dragons to be evil because in Rise of Tiamat, a gold dragon straight up says, You think I have choice being lawful good? I don't. I will always be lawful good. Hmm. Hey, Mirig, Welcome on in. We're going to give another shout out to our pal Mirig. 
Eric is a fabulous retro streamer playing on some actual hardware. We were watching uh, Mirror Glass Night suffer. I can't remember the name of the game, but it it was a lot of deaths. Yeah, super goals and ghosts. Lots of death. So if you enjoy watching someone have to put money into a swear jar because of how frustrated they are with their gameplay, you will enjoy following my friend Mirik. <laughs> Welcome in, pal. Welcome in. It's good to see you. Lord Slaw. Ooh, look at the skeletal knight. Spooky. That's really cool. I like that. That's giving Death Knight from World of Warcraft vibes to me. Yes. But yes, this is the newest book that is out. It is Dragonlance Shadow the Dragon Queen. I am still waiting for my physical copy of the book to come. I pre-ordered it, which was kind of an interesting experiment that um, Wizards of the Coast was doing. So D&D Beyond is uh, an interactive online tool set for 5th edition Dungeons and & Dragons, and Wizards officially bought it. And so now they're trying to like experiment with, all right, if we actually have this physical product that's on back order, it's delayed, it's relying on supply, supply chain issues, maybe we can get the content to players in a digital format more quickly and let's see how that works. And so when they created this game, you got the online version of it before the physical one would send out. And so I have it, I just am waiting for my physical copy of the book as well, but it's, it's kind of cool that they're merging. I, I like it. Uh, I would lose a hundreds. What challenge rating? Uh, for which one? The Skeletal Knight? I didn't look at the challenge rating of the Skeletal Knight. Uh, it all goes back to the stream, so it's good fun. That's right, Merrick. It is good fun. Uh, the Skeletal Knight has a challenge rating of 7. The other one we looked at was Lord Soth. Challenge rating 19. Ooh, he must be a big baddie. Big baddie, the most powerful death knight on Cri uh, It is a death knight. No wonder why it looks like a death knight from World of Warcraft. It literally is a death knight. <laughs> oh, wonder if that's if Dragonlance is where World of Warcraft got the inspiration for that class. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Also got rid of Volos and Tomb of Foes to push the bonus action stuff. Um, Volos. There was some weird shenanigans with that, Toasty. Yeah, I have all of the books now. I bought them on Black Friday, which was very expensive, but I have all of the content that's currently available. Um, and I don't know, I, some of the legacy content is cool. I know I was helping um, Emmy get set up with making a character, and there was just a lot of options of what she wanted to do between a legacy type and a newer type, and I'm just like, you just pick one. I don't, I don't care. Uh, this man is power word kill without even having power word kill. He does. Word of... No, he doesn't have power word kill. He has word of death once a day. Soth points at a creature you can see and it magically commands it to die. Target must make a DC 19 constitution saving throw, taking 100 necrotic damage <laughs> on a failed save for half as much damage as a successful one. You know, the word of death. <laughs> okay so i think uh we're gonna take a quick ad break it is about that time and when we come back from our ad we will get playing some little wood so we will be back very shortly friends don't move long don't move far we'll be back really quick Oh no, I think I'm in my just chatting screen. That's okay, 40 seconds.
Okay, we are back, and we are ready to play some Little Wood. Which do I prefer? Yeah, we'll go with that one. Is this not plugged in? Hmm. Apparently that isn't plugged in. Okay. Unless... There it goes. Okay. Got it! Where's my camera? There it goes. Did I click that? That's what I clicked. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, thanks for that effector. It's been months since I've done anything remotely D&D. Absolutely. I love D&D. Ooh, this is loud. Heavens. So we made it to spring. So we have officially made it our first year of our town. And we have a lot of our villagers. I don't think we have all of them, but we have a lot of them. I honestly don't know who we're missing. I don't have a radish, Mr. P Mr. Chicken. Mr. Sheep has some, please. Thank you, Mr. Sheep. It is occupied. And we still haven't expanded a second time. I think we get three expansions. We've done one of them. Do we have any goals in the thing today? Any quests? I want to buy three slime apples. I want to buy five perfect planks. And can you give me a perfect plank? Guess I gotta go make some perfect planks, huh? Let's see if I have the wood for that. Oh, Mr. Chicken has an egg. Thank you, Mr. Chicken. Oh, I have lots of perfect planks. Is it Dalton, I think it said, wants one? Let's see if we can find Dalton. I think this is him right here. Give item. Thanks a bunch, Augustine. You're welcome. Give him a compliment. We'll hang out with him today. And then we need to sell five perfect prank. Perfect pranks. <laughs> perfect planks. Two, four. There's six of them. So that quest should be done. And then, was it, how many slime apples? Three slime apples. Boop. Perfect, I love that they're right concentrated in the center of town. That's fantastic. Got a Deluca coin. And 52 drops. So let's find two, four, six of those. And we still got two items to sell. Okay. I do want to check out the restaurant. Is there anybody in it? No? Have I upgraded it all? Yes. Our test recipe for today is... Looks like a trout and cabbage. Nope, that we already have. So, cabbage and blood loach. Cabbage and fire cart. Nope. Okay. Well, because I forgot. I want to take the balloon to Port de Luca. Since Saturday, there might be some new items. And there are... The pink dot carpet. We need that for somebody. Windswept table. I think that's an outdoor decoration. Ooh, somebody wanted that. Guess we'll buy it. Sure, I'll take a piggy. This is a potato, right? No, that's a slime apple. Don't need the slime apple. Okay. 
dua. Ooh, we've got the level 60, so we can go to the dark sea now. Fantastic. Ooh, that's spooky. Look at that whale thing. It's gonna eat us. Got a rare fish, an octopus. I think we have that already. In our museum, at least. Oops, did not catch that one. We can take a look at our journal. Our mining's almost up to 60. So let's clear out these rocks in town. And we're going to take some nutty coffee and work on these. There's so many of them. I knew who needed the pink carpet. Hi. You wanted the pink carpet. Okay. Oh, it's cute. I like that. And a cotton candy chair? I don't think I have that chair. Mm, nope. Okay. Well, we did what we could for you. Somebody wanted an odd mask. I think I can build the hammock, right? Oh, I need feathers. Okay. He wants a lamp. Dual table and competitor carpet. Nope. I have heroic, but not dual. Okay. And was it dark maybe that wants the mask? An odd mask. Okay. Ooh, we need five cavern work. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> and an obelisk? Obsidian shrine? Where do we get those? Guess I shouldn't have been selling all those rare materials I've been getting. The researcher chair. Cool. Ooh. I do have a fish tonight. So the octopoot? Yes. these weeds. Yes, well, get some fruitses. Right. 
that is our energy for the day. So I do want to put some stuff in here. And then maybe we can sell those weeds. Okay. So we need to find somewhere in the world three red lollipops, three white zigzags, and three yellow dewcaps, and a seaweed. We must get that fishing in the port town. Alright, mining is officially level 60. Sweet. Three plumberries. I can probably do that. Oh, I need more of those. Alright. So, let's go get our money. What do you need? Turnips. Do not have turnips. Radish, I do not have. And you, Mr. Chicken? You too want a radish, which I do not have. I can't help you. Got some dirt. A gift. A bird fountain. Very nice. Looks like Laura has a gift for us over here. Hello, Laura. Thanks for making my house look amazing. Here's another item display stand. Cool. Modern Table Moonlight Wallpaper. Nope. Don't see that yet. You're on page three. My goodness. I see a wild snubble has appeared in chat friends. If you do not have that one already, you use exclamation toki catch to catch that guy. Okay, this time we've got a potato. And that looks like peach thing. Yummy sticks. Mr. Pig has probably a mushroom for us. Thank you, Mr. Pig. Alright, let's go to Porto Luca. Maybe there'll be a turn up there. I don't know how you get it otherwise. Because this is Kakumba, Plumberry, Blackly, Potato. I have all those. Fire Tarot. Card. Ooh, wizard staircase wallpaper. We need that for Lilith. An elegant lamp. It's expensive, but okay. Alright. Buy another sheep. that gives us XP. Not a lava fish. I wonder if I have that one. I do wonder, is this where I get seaweed from? Minnow. 
sea star. Minnow. Minnow. And looks like that's it for fishing here. At least for today. Let's go look at the bugs. Here we got dandelion, nothing really too much there, and then I guess we'll go to the forest, see if we can find some of them for hours. Treasure chest, some rare wood. It's like a flower. Don't know if it's one of the ones we're looking for, but can't hurt. A super rare wood. We want that. Do, do, do. Just looking for flowers. I don't see any flowers up here. This is the yellow one. I think there's any flowers. go in all three instances of the mines now. That's cool. I guess you can get a bunch of rare stuff here, huh? I should start collecting that dust. Probably how you get those things. Ooh, we got a grotto table. I don't know who needs that one. We must have got some seaweed. Not even realized it. Perfect. Not the flowers we need, though. Wonder if those are the ones you have to breed. Red lollipop, white zigzag. So if I destroy. those. I 
Does that satisfy the quest? No, she have to actually collect them. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, the cat guy wants to catch fish with me. And she wants to buy three plumberries. I could probably do plumberries. You would like a potato. Okay. Where's cat guy? Oh, Dark has a present for us. Thank you. Claw from below. Ooh. Sounds like a fun blueprint. Where is cat guy? Is he in his house? He is. Give him a compliment. Toby. That's his name. I forgot his name. It's Toby. Of course he wants to go fishing with me. He loves fish. Oh, I want to see if the fishy I got is one of these rare ones. Looks like it is. There's the lava fish. Wonderful. All right. That one is completed. So the library is complete. I believe the shop is complete. Yes. This one's not, though. I like work on leveling this one up. These are expensive permits, though. My gosh. Is the coffee shop done? Who knows? Got lots to do in the coffee shop. Alright. Not our fishing. Got that equipped. What about up here? Are these completed? Yes. The brick shop is done. The wood shop is done. And this. is also completed. Okay. Just gotta make a bunch of whatever that is. <laughs> Just to fill the box. The box is now filled. Alright, I guess we're gonna take him... Actually, I'm gonna go to the port. So I didn't gamble, I think, for the week. Let's go see if there's anything to gamble on. A lily pad. Hmm. Milk, a wiggly worm, and acorn. Ooh, three heart clovers. Cute. Oh, Emmy has redeemed a group hydrate, friends. Let's all make sure we keep ourselves hydrated. Thank you, Emmy. To give a shout out to my mod Emmy. Emmy is a fantabulous streamer. If you are enjoying my content, you will certainly love the chaos vibes that is Emmy and Jerry. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Okay. How was your stream, Emmy? Are you done streaming or are you still still working on it? <laughs> you finished up? Word. You got to a nice undersea area. Ooh. Live in your little mermaid dream life, I see. Very nice. Totally. 
under the sea. I like the Little Mermaid. It's hard to believe that the Little Mermaid is from like 1987, I think. It's been around a long time. All right, we fished with Toby. He should be very happy now. So we'll go to the forest and fish a little bit more. <laughs> Uh, Squid Barterkey says, I remember when it came out. I am old. You're only slightly older than I am. You're not that old. Got some new drops. So nothing else really about. Ooh, there's a tree over here. Yeah. Want this wood? Guess I could fish. Uh, wood market says every little bit counts. Okay, fair, fair enough. All right. We are at that half hour mark, friends, so we're going to have to take another quick ad break for about 90 seconds or so. So please make sure to stretch your legs. Take this as an opportunity to practice some self-care. I'll be back very shortly for some more cozy little wood gameplay. I honestly forgot to click the run the ad button until like two minutes. It felt like it did the thing, but we got our ads run. <laughs> so hopefully that keeps the pre-rolls off. My bad. My bad. <laughs> uh, congrats, Emmy, on catching your grappler. Very nice. Very nice. The Pokemon game's not being as stingy today as it has in the past. It's kind of nice. Sometimes it's really hard. Ooh, got a gold acorn. Cool. Light. Like. I think this might be one of the flowers I need. Stab it. Okay, that's it for wood there. He caught a Snubble earlier. Snubble is not the prettiest Pokemon, in my opinion. I think it's this white one. And then... Who? Which one? We'll pick them all. Why not? Let's pick them all. Hopefully we're getting ones we need. You think Snubble's cute? Well, that's good. I'm glad you like Snubble. I didn't care for Snubble. It looked kind of snooty as a Pokemon. I don't want my Pokemon to be nice and cute. He looked angry. Very angry. Oh, that's all the forest. Okay. So, all right, we got the whites and the yellows. So all we need is three red lollipops we need to keep an eye out for. Perfect. Thank you. Let's not forget our plumberries in the marketplace. I she only wanted three. We got stuff for sale. Beautiful. I feel like I picked something up. I think it was Lilith's wallpaper that she wants. A wizard table and a wizard staircase wallpaper. 
think I picked up that. Oh, that is cute! Do you see the little stairs? I like that. Her house is really cute. I have a wizard table. Nope. Yeah, we're still looking for a round table. Um, a couple different tables. A dual table. He still wants a hammock, but I need to get some feathers for that. A cotton candy chair. I'm missing so much items. The spirit bed? I wonder if I got that. No, I got a vibrant bed. Oh, he's on page three. I don't even worry about him. Whose house is this now? Oh, it's Dalton's house. He wants a fish tank. Hmm. I don't see a fish tank. Sorry, Dalton. No fish tank available. Guess we can check the shop. Papaya? Nope. Oh, not in the shop either. Alright, so that is complete. Guess we'll finish fishing and bug catching in town, maybe? Oops. Coral? Emmy, did you get the audio clip I sent you on Discord? Oh. My bad. I guess we were tired. <laughs> One too many fruits. <laughs> you died? Good! <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, don't have whizberries. Or radishes. Or whizberries. Carrots I have. Mr. Cow, I can help you with that. Yeah, I edited the uh, clip I made and just put the, the timing together for you. <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate that. All right, we unlocked another chest. Two chests, even. Three chests. Woo. Got a DeLuca coin. Um, it's in the sky. The townsfolk bed. I haven't seen anybody request that one. This one is dew drops. Very nice. This recipe hint is going to be the death of me. What is it? Cabbage and minnow? That's what it was. Okay. All right. No gobbies here today? No. So I guess we're going to still go to the forest because we're really trying to get those flowers. The red lollipop flowers. Um, Are there any spring bugs or fish that I still need to collect? So fish we've got summer, winter, Winter, summer, 
Bummer. So no fish that we need to collect. How about bugs? Summer. All right, uh, dust caverns during spring. So there is a bug we need to get. And the emperor fly caught in town during spring. So emperor fly and prickly pillar. We've got to look for doge. So I guess we'll do bug catching today. A nice bitter brew. What's this? That I have. So maybe we'll just start with these bugs in town. Let me get that emperor fly. I think I need a couple of those feathers for the hammock. At least I think it was a feather for our cat friend Toby. Any more bugs? No bugs? Oh, one bug. All right, we did not catch an emperor fly. Unfortunate. Uh, we need one more large feather. Okay. We're getting closer. the bugs here. I want to catch them in the cavern. I do want to take this rare wood. Red lollipops. Red lollipops. We are looking for red lollipops. Deciduous bed. That sounds like a cool one. Maybe tree based. Wonder if it changes at the seasons. That's not a red lollipop tree. Okay. All right, down to the caverns we go. Maybe we get those chests. Okay. I need that. Wink, wink. That's a different one, but not the one I want. Okay. They're so erratic. I love them. Alright, we got a Wicked Fairy. Another rare bug, but not what we're searching for. Can't catch any more bugs today. Wednesday is Farmer's Day. Ooh. 
Is this where I can get some rare stuff? Looks like stuff I already own. I want a sweet corn dip and three golden wood. Okay. Happy Farmer's Day. Buy some veggies and harvest your crops today for double experience. Eggplant, potato, corn, carrot, potato. I own all of those. Guess we'll farm today since it's saying you get double the XP. Might as well. Lots of vegetables. Ooh, a wild Timtle. What kind of a Pokemon is that one, Emmy? Rats on your catch. Uh, what what it is is it's one I just don't have. <laughs> well, as they say, I mean, you gotta catch them all, catch them all, catch them all, gotta catch them all. It's the name of the game, right? No radish. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. I don't have very many of these ghost fruit trees, do I? Can I get any more? I can get one more tree. So we're still on a quest to try and find red lollipop flowers. Ooh, we got our feather, so we can go build the hammock. Excuse me, excuse me. Let's make Toby his hammock. His house is weird. Ooh, the hammock's actually kind of cute. What was that, a hook lamp? Uh, I need to get weird metal. Where do we get the weird metal from? Hmm. Oh, Mr. Cow has some milk for me. That blue thing looks different. Get this. A strong wallow tail. Tree sap. A light fairy. And a mighty moth. if you get some of these items I don't have from this auction house. Because that I haven't built yet. It's called a big roasted mouse in Massachusetts. Thanks, Emmy, for the redeem. <laughs> did you see uh, Toaster and Moose did a fantastic special um, holiday video on TikTok today? was really cute. 
I don't know if I sent it to you. I should have. This is so cute. I almost recorded it to add it to my sound effects library. It's so, so wholesome and sweet and so niche. I might still. You know, I didn't go to the forest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Mr. Cow, give me the milk, please. Thank you for the milk, Mr. Cow. Let's go look for our red lollipop flowers that I totally forgot I was looking for. So I need three of them. There's a white lollipop. Ooh, here. That one, right? No, that's a dewcap. Incorrect flower. Darn, darn, darn. Oop, doop, 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 doop. Flowers? Flowers? No flowers. There's a chest. But here, are there any flowers over here? Alright, those guys are angry. No flowers. Okay. Is this all done? No. So we've got some forest stuff to unlock. How about the caverns? And we've got cavern stuff to unlock. Okay. Rude. What I mean, little whooper. This song reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. Do, 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 do. <laughs> two drops, two drops, and more two drops. Okay. Almost maxed out my farming. It's pretty good. Some perfect bricks. Oh, Mr. Chicken has an egg. Let's see what Mr. Cow would like. A Duriot. Ooh, that's a new request. I don't know what that is. Oops. Somebody wanted me to make something, but I don't remember what it was. Ooh, corn, corn. Look at that, Emmy. Corn, double corn. Double corn makes a buttered corn recipe. Ooh. We're gonna put some buttered corn right in there. I'm gonna check my corn level. Ooh, 20%. Not very corny today. How unfortunate. Mr. Sheep, what do you want, Mr. Sheep? Whizberry cannot help. Potato, I can give you a potato. I have many a potato to spare. All right, what was it? Perfect. Bricks that I needed? What was I upgrading? Now forget. Is 
Is that the cavern? Alright, that's perfect planks. for wishes. That's right. Okay. Let's go upgrade our town wish board. Beautiful. Ooh, we got a weird metal. We need that for Toby's house, I think. He's their Toby. Oops. His house is just weird. <laughs> No, he wants the hook lamp. All right, done. I don't want to deal with the outside, so you're good. You get you get what you get, and you don't blow a fear. Mr. Gobby. That's all done. Let's have Dark come with us today. <laughs> Dark is so cute. His sprite makes me think of Sephiroth. I don't know why. He just does. Maybe it's the hair. Looking for red flowers, please. Red flowers. Nope. There's a treasure chest. But no red flower. We'll check over here. There's blue flowers, but we want red flower. Looks like there's treasure chance. Emmy, look at you. You are the corniest individual I think ever to have graced the stream. 100%? Wow. That is incredible. How high your corny level is. I am so impressed. <laughs> it's cold. A bit more than enough. It has to do. I can't let it be. I can't either. It is simply the most wonderful thing. Is corn. <laughs> Yes, there are no red flowers there. I'm never gonna finish this goal. experience. A wild why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Has appeared in chat friends. Yeah. 
Okay. I think we're gonna pop out just for a second, y'all, to take a, another quick break. As always, great time to practice some self-care. Taking care of your body takes care of your mind. I'll be back very shortly for some more little ones. Alrighty, I'm back. Hope everybody had a nice little ad break. I want to get that rainbow thing, whatever that is. Looks cool. We got it, the rainbow slug. Awesome. A shell beetle. Hope oh, turn that into the museum. Missing fruit and vegetables. So what's this? Perfect slime apple goes here. If I keep picking slime apples, one of them could be golden. Oh. Jello melon goes here. I can buy one from a merchant deep in the endless forest. Dariac goes here. Whizberry goes here. Oh. Maybe I have to unlock the forest all the way to get those items. Golden carrots. And this forest. And this forest. So I guess we need to be working on our forest game. Must be where we get those items. some more or calcum like that beautiful mr whooper don't eat me i come in peace don't eat me thank you Need some more perfect bricks. Ooh. Oh, I'm out of energy. Okay. Let's just make sure there's no chests up here to collect. Yeah, we'll go for this one. Do 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 do. Phenomena. Do 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 do. Oop, there's a chest. Alright, so I bought that upgrade. Can I afford whatever this upgrade is? I already did. Okay. Increased chances of finding golden trees. Okay. At least I know I'm not missing these items. They're somehow tied to the forest. All right. Well, and the last stage of our town wishes. Mr. Cow's got some mute. Mr. Sheep wants a sour puck.
guess we'll collect them in stages. Is it put anything here? Some more compost. I didn't sell anything either yesterday, did I? Um. I'm kind of afraid to sell things now. So it's hard to find the furnishing items. Nothing I need there. Do 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 do. Okay, I've got plenty of bricks. So let's go. Ooh, Toby's happy. We helped get him his house stuff. Heavy purring. It's a dancing Toby. That's cute. I guess we'll hang out with our cat friend. Beautiful. Let's run our last stage of the forest. This little peek for these red flowers that I'm just not finding. There's a white one. That's a zigzag, not the lollipop flower. At least it's a flower. Ooh, that's the guy. The exotic merchant glances at me before resuming his intense dance. So I have broccoli. I need a radish, turnips, pumpkin. Oh, I don't have enough money to buy the pumpkins. Oh, Sag. I want to buy the pumpkin. That's okay. So it's a random chance he shows up. That's cool. into him. Sorry, guy. You drops. I don't think I want a chance going over there. Uh, anything up here? Yeah, I guess I can probably work on dust soon. So that unlocks some really cool items outside of the caverns. Yes. Saturday. Oh, I should have planted those new crops. Let's see what I have available. So, radish. So I need at 36 of 36. So we're going to get rid of you and you. I can plant my radish and turnips.
Okay. And Mr. Pig. Hopefully I'll have turn up soon, Mr. Pig. Get some of our money for the day. Beautiful. Let's see what quests we have from our village friends. Could you give me one wood? I'd like to buy three goldenrod and I want to eat a sweet corn dip at the tavern. Okay. That one's easy. Here, go. Give you a compliment. And we'll hang out with Lilith. And then sweet corn. There we go. And we've got that available for our friend. And now we've got our hint for the day. Hmm. It's like this fish, the gobblemug. And plumberry or potato. It's like a potato. Prickly potatoes. Wonderful. Okay. And we'll pop over to forest to upgrade. much money. Oh, there's the fish tank I need. And I need this too. Who? Who? So if I go... Spelunking. I might get enough dewdrops from chests. So we'll do that. What's this? Onion? I have onions. So let's see if we can get 350 dewdrops. So we can purchase that table for one of our little villager friends. I think it's the poem guy. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Perfect. There's still a bug I think I need that's rare I'm down here. Dragon wasp. Dragon wasp. Butterfly. Nope. Nope. Uh, another wicked fairy, but nope. Dark matter. Nope. Okay. All right. Let's all make sure we buy that table. I haven't seen anybody request that item. But I believe Max wants that. No. Right. Tool table. Ooh, we need to make two wood planks for him. Not a problem. Right on top of that rose. some of the rest of it from doing the, the dueling. I 
everybody wants these vegetables I don't yet really have. Nope, I don't have those either. Let's also make plant. <laughs> All right, will we find our flowers? Deep oh, hello. I don't have the money. I guess we're ready to save up some money. That's twice now he spawned. Alright, those are our red. There's Harold. Nothing there. <laughs> Some dew drops. Can I upgrade you? Yes. Dragon fossil. That's neat. <laughs> Today's accomplishment. Mad chickens. Oh dear. What is mad chickens? They look cute. Welcome to the chicken madness. Catch as many chickens as you can and bring them back to town square before the time runs out. Ooh. get some chickens. Check on! Oh no, that's a regular chicken! <laughs> 
That didn't help. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Oh, got it. All right, I am now a chicken lord. <laughs> That's cute. Very cute. Oh, this chicken looks upset. Always being attacked by the chicken. That's cute. Poor guy. Alright guys, I think I'm going to save our game. I think I want to switch over to maybe some Final Fantasy XIV. Maybe work on some of my weekly quests and getting kind of zoned out when it comes to Littlewood right now. So I'm going to take a quick break and be right back. Maybe play some Final Fantasy XIV. Oop, that's not the right button. There it is. Switch to my thing. Thanks y'all for doing some dailies. It was fun. So yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get off of the Discord goal and we're going to take a peek at Twitch and see who's on that we might be able to raid right now. So as always, I just like to plug my socials if I can get my OBS to show up. Um, if you're interested in stalking me on the internet, that is where I can be found. <laughs> I've got a TikTok, a Twitter. Uh, my VODs get posted on the YouTubes. All of the things are there. You are welcome to stalk me on my socials. It is a awesome free way to support the channel is just interacting with my social media and people find me on the internet so let me see who's on so we could go visit uh, a newer friend faux retro who's playing kingdom hearts one might be a good raid target Kirik is playing mario kart very nice very nice yeah i think that'll be a good one Oh no, Lana Ray, you poor thing. Why? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Poor Lana Ray. Getting all of the comms taken away. I'll make sure to give her some after this. <laughs> so I think we're gonna raid our friend for retro. I think that's a good choice there. So let me get the raid started. And before we do, I'm going to print out our raid messages. If you'd like to copy and paste, the message that comes first is for all the viewers of the stream. And if you happen to be subscribed, you can copy that second message there. Um, so we can copy and paste that. And if you do stick around for the raid, you do get some extra channel points to redeem later. Uh, Emmy was our sub uh, mod. We got Emmy, Mirig, Plunge, and a bot as well as subscribers to the channel today. That credit thing went really fast. <laughs> but yes, thank you again. We will be back tomorrow with Chrono Cross, working on playing through getting every single character. Uh, tomorrow evening at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. So if you're into Chrono Cross and the chill vibes of that RPG, please join us. And until then, we will see y'all around. Take care, make good choices, and uh, don't kill all my viewers.